hey hello students uh, so i hope you all are doing good and preparing for your case tk exam okay okay coming to today's video so i get uh, this co common query uh, from students ki sir uh, so recently the puc board uh, results were announced so the students have got this query ki sir i have got uh, so and so marks in my puc exam uh, how much rank i can expect okay so how much i have to score so that what uh, what rank i can expect so this is a very common query that students have okay so we'll be uh, we uh, I'll, i'll solve that query and uh, so in the video and be solving that query also okay so here in this video i'm going to uh, cover two two aspects two things so first thing is how the kct rank calculation is done okay and then how uh, your kct marks is going to affect your rank okay so in the second part we'll be looking at how how your marks affect your rank okay next uh, one more thing i have built an interesting tool okay a rank predictor tool which you can use to predict your rank so okay uh, uh, the link is to, if you want to check that you can check the link in my description okay so you can check that out as well uh okay so coming to the first part how the kct rank calculation is done so i hope everyone knows uh the weightage so the board exam marks have got 50% weightage and your kct exam marks are given 50% weightage i hope everyone knows this right so this is the basic thing okay so that is 50% and 50% now moving on Let's look at the example calculation. How it is done? Say a student has got two ninety marks, okay, out of three hundred in your KCT exam. So this is physics, chemistry, and maths for engineering rank. Okay, so these three subjects will be considered. And say he has scored one ten marks in his KCT exam. Okay, physics, chemistry, maths, similarly. So as you know, the fifty percent uh, weightage is for board marks. So two ninety marks is reduced to fifty marks. So two ninety divided by three hundred multiplied by fifty. So this is reduced out of fifty marks. He has scored forty eight point three. Very good score. Next, KCT has got fifty percent marks. Similarly, so say he has scored one ten marks out of one eighty. So again, that is reduced to thirty marks. So total score of this candidate is forty eight point three plus thirty point five five, which is seventy eight point eight five. So out of hundred, he has scored seventy eight point eight five marks. based on this the rank will be given okay so this is how uh, the case your kct score is calculated okay your out of 100 the score is calculated and after that you will be given a rank so coming to the interesting part of the video so that is how uh, how your kct marks are going to affect your rank okay so let, let me show you how to use the tool that i have built So this is a rank predictor tool that I have built. Uh, so this tool I have built uh, using the data from the pre past past year ranks. Okay, from the marks the students have scored using that that data I have built this tool. I'll quickly show you how to use this tool. Say I'll 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 just uh, just let's take an example. So as you all know, uh, in board exam, most of the students have done well. They have scored. Mostly students have scored to take. I don't want to discourage the students. Uh, I just want to say that most of the students have scored more than two seventy. Okay, let's take an example score of two ninety in board exam, and say he has scored uh, around one uh, ten marks in KCET. What is his predicted rank? Okay, so one more thing. So this gives you a prediction. Okay, it doesn't give you an actual rank. it will help you to know what rank you can expect okay so how much marks i need to score to get so and so rank so this tool will help you to do that okay but your actual rank may vary okay so this is just a tool to for you to plan how to this this can help you to plan on how to attempt the paper how to strategy how to build your strategy so this will help you in that okay so let me show you how to use the tool first Okay, so yeah, the link the link is provided in the description. You can check out the link. So all you have to do is open the link. I have 
with the link open on my browser. So say uh, in our example, the student had scored uh, 290 marks in his board exam and say he has scored 110 marks in his KCMT. So this board exam, board exam marks you already know because the board uh, UC results are out. So this part is done. So you cannot do anything there. But KCT marks, this is under your control. You can work hard and get a good score. This will improve your rank. So let's see what is the rank. Okay. Uh, let's see what rank it is going to predict. Okay. So for this so and so marks, the predicted rank is around 3000. Okay. So it, it is not exactly 3000. You can expect a, a rank maybe between 2000 and 3000. Okay. So this is just a prediction. Okay. This is not an exact rank. I just wanted to repeat that. So this means uh, 3152 means he can expect a rank between 2000 and between 3200. Maybe between that. Let's take another example. Say a student has scored 295 marks and in case 18 he has scored say 100 marks uh, sorry let's take 120 marks let's i think he might get a good rank maybe below 2000 let's see yes so yeah it's a very good rank so he can expect a rank between 750 and 1500 okay so this is just a prediction okay so you can uh make a guess okay so you can use this tool uh Try out different KCET exam marks because you already know your PUC board exam marks. So that will show you the rank and you can plan for your exam. So the common strategy uh, one can apply is what I would say is from the data that we have, what we have observed is how much KCET marks can guarantee a good rank. Okay. So this is the this is the data that that we have collected from the tool okay from the tool we have connected the data so this column shows the board exam marks this column shows the kcet marks and so so as we know there is 50 percentage weightage for the board marks and uh, 50 percent weightage for your kcet marks and they we add both of them and we get this and based on that rank is predicted so let's see the student has scored say 300 marks so that is a very brilliant score and KCT has scored a 170 marks, right? It's also a brilliant score. He can expect a good rank. He can expect maybe below 50 rank. Easily, easily he can expect a below 50 rank. Let's take another example. Say uh, he has scored 290 marks and 162. That is also a brilliant score. A very, very good score. So he can also expect a below 50 rank. Below 50 or 100 rank. Okay, coming down. Let me show you other examples. So, say, so for a below 1000 rank, let's take this this example. So, he has scored not good in his board exam, say 265 marks, but he has scored the good in his KCT. So, he can expect a very good rank, maybe below 2000. Uh, so these PDFs also have provided in my uh, description. You can go to it. See how the rank varies. How how the rank gets affected. So here one more example I have here. He has scored two, two, 255 and a 106 in his case CT score. And he has got a rank of 11,000. Uh, which is not a good rank. You should aim for at least a rank which is below 200. So that can give you. Uh, sorry. Below 1000. That can give you a, a good uh, uh good college that can guarantee a good college such okay uh, so so let me tell you this thing so how can you plan how much KCD marks you need to score so after analyzing the data what uh, we have found is key you can aim to score at least at least meaning minimum 35 marks in each of the subjects if you are able to score at least 35 marks, this will give you a KCET score of around 115. This is a very good score. Okay, so this is the minimum you can keep. So if if you are able to solve 35 questions out of 60, so you can be, you can feel confident. Okay, at least oh okay I have solved 35. And if you are able to solve more than 35, okay, 
you will definitely get a very good rank that is going to be below 1000 for sure okay okay so so based on this you can build your own strategy because you already know your board marks say a student wants to score say a student has done a, a students want student wants to create a strategy say he wants to score around 130 marks in case AD exam okay so and he is good at math but he is slightly unique in physics and uh, in chemistry he is medium so what he can do he can put more marks in mathematics maybe he can score uh, 45 marks here and uh, maybe slightly less marks here maybe 30 marks here and the remaining uh, 75 uh, okay and this is not going to be possible T, T, he needs to score a very good score here I think more than he needs to score here maybe in maths 50 marks in. still he needs to do well in chemistry okay, 30 marks is not going to work so he can work out a strategy for himself look. maybe he can score here 35 marks Okay, now you need to score in chemistry around, uh, say, 15, 45 marks. Okay, so this is how you can create, you build your own strategy. Come up with your own strategy, check how much rank, uh, your rank using my tools. Uh, uh, and uh, this is how you can uh, use my tool. Okay, so on a rough, at least 35 is the minimum that you can target, okay. 35 is going to be easy, but uh, every year what we have observed is one of the subject is uh, they are uh, appear tough. Okay, among maths, chemistry, physics, one of the subject might be tough. Maybe scoring 29 or less than 30 also might be a good score. We don't. Okay, uh, so so uh, what I would suggest uh, students to do is he already the PUC board exam marks are done. So that is not under your control, but KCD exam is under your control. Okay, so this AD marks are yours. So study well, work hard. So only till the exam date. So your exam is going to happen in few days. So put your own efforts. It is a. It is if you, if you have prepared well, you will, you will definitely do well in your KCD exam for sure. Okay, keep have that confidence in you. So scoring good marks in your KCET can give you good rank and good rank can give you an admission to a good college okay good college okay okay all the best students so preparing for your exam okay if you found uh, this video helpful you can like and you can subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, all uh, the the link for this website is provided in the description and you can also join our telegram group and uh, the the pdf containing the rank list is also provided in the description you can also check that out okay thank you